next topic is actually a combination of a, the last few topics we've done s uh, earlier, and it's mixed algebra. Mixed being um, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, solving equations. So it's all the stuff we've done before, just all mixed up. Same old stuff, same old steps. Uh, first, you got to see what is being done to the letter or the variable to get rid of that thing do the opposite and then do the same to the other side cancel out and just do the math remember the whole game here when you have an equation is you want to get the letter by itself here are four questions back to back to back to back you want to look at and these are adding subtracting multiplying dividing uh, methods to solving the equations y plus 4 equals 8 there's the letter. What's it being bugged by on this side of the equal sign? Well, it's being added by 4. We want to get rid of this adding 4, so the opposite is subtract 4. That will get rid of that. But whatever you do this side, you have to do the other side of the equal sign. Subtract 4 there. So in terms of the steps, we saw it was doing what was being done to the letter. It was being added. We did the opposite adding, subtracting, same to the other side, same to the other side, and then the cancel out part, the whole point of doing the opposite is that so this thing, this term, does cancel out, and you're left with just y, and then do the math on the other side, 8 minus 4 is 4, y equals 4. And that was pretty easy. This one here, I don't think it's very difficult. y minus 4 equals 8 this time. Subtracted by 4, the opposite of subtracting 4 is adding 4. Add 4 to the other side. This cancels the 4s out. Remember the equal sign is like this big wall and uh, things on either terms on either side of the equal sign, on opposite sides of the equal sign, cannot see each other. Okay, so, um, and it's also really important to line up your equal sign and line up everything. Don't be don't have messy writing because you make messy writing or you have your equal signs and things flying all over the place more chance that you'll make a mistake anyways uh, fours are gone we're left with just y 8 plus 4 is 12 that is correct remember do you remember the check the check method which I'll ask you here and there is um, lots of ways to do it um, uh, you could have something like this y minus 4 equals 8 little table way I think before I just I just wrote the original equation out and uh, you had to figure it out this is another way to do it y minus 4 equals 8 so we want to check to see is y 12 if you put 12 into this equation is it true well we substitute a y uh, 12 in for y or whatever you sub in goes in brackets minus 4 does that equal 8? 12 minus 4 equals 8. Yes, yes, we are correct. Okay. okay, you don't have to always check, but you know, if I ever ask you to, um, you should be able to do it, no problem. Okay, what is being done to the letter, in this case y, in this case, you have 4 right next to it. What is the 4 doing to the y? It's multiplying it. What's the opposite of multiplying? Dividing. So let's divide this by 4. Do the same to the other side. What did the dividing by 4 do? Well, 4 divided by 4 cancels out, and you're left with just y. Remember, it's actually 1y, but 1y and y are the same thing, right? So you don't have to put the imaginary 1 there. Nobody does. And then the other side, 8 divided by 4, is 2. Done y here is being divided by 4 in this question. Dividing by 4, what's the opposite of dividing? Multiplying. So on this side you're going to multiply by 4. I like to show the multiplying with brackets. You could show the time sign, you could use a dot, whatever you want to use. So, um, and when it's multiplying, it's multiplying the top number, the numerator, right? So 4 is multiplying this on this side, do the same to the other side. What happens to these 4s? They're going to cancel out, and you're left with y on this side. Line up your equal sign. 8 times 4 is 32.
And you, again, you could do the check on these and you'd realize, yeah, it actually is what we got. Okay, those are straightforward ones. Here's the next four to look at. With ne negative signs and things. W plus 10 equals negative 30. What's happening here? The W is being bugged by the plus 10. To get rid of this plus 10, minus 10. Same to the other side. What happens with these 10s? They are gone. You're left with just W. And then watch your integers, people, please. Negative 30 minus 10. Or you're down 30, then you're down 10 more. Or use your calculator. Or use a number line. There's no excuse to get questions like this wrong anymore. The only way people get it wrong is if they're sloppy and are rushing through and making mistakes. You're down 30, you're down 10 more, you're down 40. The answer is negative 40. Same thing over here, w minus 10 equals negative 30. You want to get the w by itself, it's being bugged by the minus 10. Let's add 10. Let's add 10. The 10s go away. You're left with now on this side just w. The equal sign, there it is, directly underneath the other one. You're down 30, then you're up 10. Down 30, up 10. You are, if you owe $30 and you gain $10, you still owe how much? 20. W equals negative 20. Here we are going to do what to get rid of this pesky 10 that's bugging the letter? Well, the 10 is multiplying, so multiplying the letters, we do the opposite, which is divide, divide by 10. Do the same to the other side. The 10s will cancel out. You're left with just W. And there's the equal sign lined up. And now, this is negative 30 divided by 10. As we went over before, uh, when you're multiplying and dividing, if the signs are different, which they are here, negative, positive, the answer is going to be negative. 30 divided by 10 is 3. Negative 3 is the answer. Now for this one, w over 10 equals negative 30. The w is being divided by 10. Opposite of dividing is multiplying. So we'll multiply this by 10, multiply the other side by 10. By doing this, the 10s cancel out, leaving you with just a W. And now, negative 30 times 10. Signs are different, so it's going to be negative, and 30 times 10 is 300. So it's negative 300. There you are. Okay. So we'll call these, I guess, level two type questions. Now let's proceed to level three type questions. A little bit trickier. This quartet here, negative six plus a equals negative 48. This is a little tricky. Um, and my little rule kind of falls apart a little bit on this one here. What is being done to the a? It's being added by negative six. And now, what I, what, I, what I always said was, whatever's being done to the letter, do the opposite. And you think, oh, it's being added by negative 6, so I should subtract negative 6. But the whole point is, you want to get rid of this number. So, to get rid of this number, I can't use negative 6 here. I'll get negative 6 and negative 6, which is negative 12. I want to get rid of this negative 6, so I'm going to add 6. I want this to go away. Do the same to the other side. Add 6. The 6's are gone. We're left with just A. Negative 48 plus 6. You down 48, then you're up 6 more. You are still down, but only down 42. A equals negative 42. This stuff is so easy, isn't it? Okay, this is the nastiest one, perhaps, on this page right here. Negative 6 minus a equals negative 48. How are we going to get rid of this negative 6? It's like the other situation over there. We are going to add 6. Do the same to the other side. The 6s are gone. Now we're left with, check this out. Before, you know, plus a is just a. You don't have to do anything with that. But negative a is not just a, it's negative a. So we'll, let's bring down the negative a. 
and same deal, negative 48 plus 6, you're down 48, you're up 6, that means you're down 42. Before we circle this though, we're not done because I want to know what is just plain old A equal to, but I got a negative in front here. How can I get rid of this negative sign? Well, there's two ways. One way I'll show you now, the other way I'll show you later, today, in this lesson. One is that you have to realize that there's something imaginary in front of this A. It's a one. There's an imaginary, always there, negative one. Or a one in front, in this case, happens to be negative. So how am I going to get rid of this negative one in front of the A? Before you jump up and say plus one, what is being done, what is the negative one doing to the letter? It is multiplying it. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. So we need to divide by negative one. Do the same to the other side. The negative ones will cancel out. If you had a plus one here, negative one divided by positive one, signs are different, gives you negative one A, and you're back to where you started again. This is the only way to get rid of a negative sign in front of a letter, is to divide by the imaginary negative one in front of it. That makes this become positive one A, which is just simply A. And then these two dividing each other, a negative and a negative, becomes a positive. It's 42. Positive 42. Same thinking for the next question. Negative 6 multiplying A equals negative 48. So negative 6 times what number gives me negative 48? Again, to get rid of this negative 6, you don't quite say plus 6. You have to look at what is being done to the letter. The letter is being multiplied by negative 6. The opposite of multiplying is dividing by negative 6. Same to the other side. The negative 6 says go bye-bye. You're left with just A, the equal sign. Negative 48 minus 6. Signs are the same. Signs are the same. It's supposed to be a positive, and it's positive 8. This next one here, all these lines over the place, a divided by negative 6 equals negative 48. It's being divided by negative 6. The opposite of dividing by negative 6 is multiplying by negative 6. Do the same to the other side. These negative 6's will vanish like that, leaving you just a. And here, negative 48 minus, sorry, negative 48 times negative 6. We're multiplying these two together. Negative 48 times negative 6. Now, you think, oh my god, I can't do that. Well, just bring out your calculator. No big deal, eh? Um, negative 48. Oops, sorry. My, this is what you have to get used to. How does your calculator handle negative signs? Some calculators want you to press the negative sign first, then 48. Others, like I guess this one, wants me to go 48 first, then negative. The plus minus sign is your negative sign. Uh, multiplied by negative 6. Multiplied by 6 negative. Equals 288. 288. There we are. Okay. So, um, this question here, just checking, this question here, very similar to this setup at this point, and this one here. So you can, if you've got like a negative letter, you can always just divide by negative one, because that imaginary negative one is there. That's one way to do it. I'll show you the second way to get rid of negative letters. Is, this is the best way, this is kind of what's quick, simple, dirty, kind of sneaky way. You want to make this a positive. You want to change the sign of this letter? You want it positive? Okay. We'll make you a deal. You change the sign of the letter of the thing on this side, you have to change the sign of the term on that side. Positive, now it's negative. So the answer is just A equals negative 18.
you could you could have done that up here as well and up there as well. Um, well, this one especially. So as long as you change the sign on one side, you got to change the sign on the other side. That works. Either way, divide by negative one or just change the sign on both sides. You get the answer. Okay, so here we go. I love my ABCs. So solve for A in this case, get A by itself. Solve for A again here, get A by itself. And here's some juicy questions for you to try. Good luck with all that. Bye-bye.